Hi guys and welcome back to Ty Denise. So today I'm going to come on and do a collective haul from Sephora and Ulta. Um, I'm not going to do the Amore, Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream uh, swatch show and tell video because I feel like so many people have done that. I didn't get a huge response or request to do it. I did film it but I've just kind of put it on the back burner because a lot of people didn't say they really wanted to see it. So I'm just going to put that on the back burner and jump forward and do a little collective haul of some products that I have picked up for my birthday month. If you guys don't know, October is my birthday month and my mother's birthday month is in November. So I literally take all of the gift cards that my family, they get me Sephora and Ulta gift cards every single year because they know what I like. And I take all of my gift cards, I combine them and then I splurge. I buy things that I've been eyeballing or things that have just recently been released and then I don't have to spend any of my own money, which is so nice because because I go without all the time because I'm a small business owner, I'm a mom, I'm a wife, I'm a daughter, I'm running, I'm taking care of so many things, juggling so many things. It's just so nice to have this really nice shopping experience that I really do look forward to once a year. I just buy whatever I want, nothing is off the table. Anything that Sephora Ulta sells that I want, I can go in and pick up no hesitation. So this is such a fun time of season for me. I always look forward to my birthday month because I get to have this wonderful experience. So if you guys are interested and would like to see what I've picked up this far for my birthday month for myself and also my mom, stick around and let's get right to it. So the first place I'm going to start is with this eyeshadow palette that I picked up from Sephora. It is the Visart and it is the professional line and they are made, this particular line is made in Paris. Now I'm not sure exactly what this collection is. It might be the Theory Palette Collection. I have the one in Minx. There are three in this collection. So I picked up the small Minx palette and oh my gosh look how beautiful Oh my gosh, look how beautiful this palette is. You get three mattes, three shimmers, and they are so uber pigmented. I'm not going to do a lot of swatching because this will make this video extremely long, but look at this. Oh, so beautiful. So the next palette I want to share with you would be the Bobbi Brown Bobbi To Go Shimmer Brick Palette. This is what the packaging looks like. And then here is the actual palette itself. And in here you get gold, bronze, and wild rose. And so here you have gold, then you have bronze, then you have wild rose. And this is a very beautiful shimmer brick palette. Really, really nice. And it's nice to have it all in one spot. And wow, these are so pretty. I'm not even going to touch them. This is something I'm actually giving to my mother. So I'm not going to swatch these. these is a, this is a gift for her. Really, really pretty. So the next palette I want to share with you is the Laura Mercier Fall in Love Face Illuminizer Collection. This is what the box looks like. And then here is the actual palette itself. It's really, really nice. Here is what the mirror looks like. You get a really nice sized mirror. And then here is the product here. These highlighters are, oh my goodness, they are beautiful. And this one is actually for me, so I'm going to go ahead and swatch them and show you guys what, what these look like. Look at these. Oh my gosh, let me swatch these on the back of my hand. <gasps> mm -mm -mm. Yes. Yes, so I did pick this up for myself, and the Bobbi Brown one was for my mother. So, anyways, really, really beautiful. So excited. Cannot wait to start wearing that. Now that I've filmed this video, I can start getting into my stuff. So this next palette I actually did pick up for myself. It is the Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette. Here is the packaging. If you hold it one way, it says metal. And then if you turn it over, it says matte. So it's an anagram. So that's the packaging. And I thought that was really, really cool. Another thing I noticed immediately when I got the palette, I was like, oh my gosh, this bad boy is so freaking long. It is a substantial palette. You feel like 
yes there is a ton of product in the palette so this is the palette and let me open it up so i can show you guys what it looks like you get a really nice size mirror it runs the length of the entire palette and then i'm going to open it all the way and here are the eyeshadows here but the one that just for me personally that just killed it like i was like oh my gosh is flash it is this gold butter soft color that is so so beautiful this is what it looks like swatched on the back of my hand it is just oh my gosh one of the most prettiest gold colors that go on even my skin tone my dark skin tone and it shows up all of the colors in here are just magnificent I haven't swatched one that I'm just not like not impressed with you know how like in some eyeshadow palettes there's always a one dud there are no duds in this eyeshadow palette it's just it's like oh ah. so these are three of the metal eyeshadows and then let me just wipe my fingers off and I'll swatch three of the mattes just to give you a little sample a little sample because I am actually going to do like a more in-depth show and tell for you guys so I will swatch Ooh, I'm gonna swatch velvet and I'll swatch oak let's swatch a green oh my gosh these colors you guys oh my goodness oh my goodness look at them do you see them oh my gosh you guys oh my gosh I don't even know how to act right oh my gosh these are some freaking amazing eyeshadows what what Oh my gosh get your hands on this you guys I can already tell you this is gonna be a fun amazing review to do for you oh my gosh so every year I buy my mom eyeshadow palettes I usually get her about three um, I usually get her Too Faced for sure she loves the holiday palettes from Too Faced I noticed and then I always get her a Tarte palette and then I get her one random palette so this year I haven't picked up my Too Faced and I haven't picked up my Tarte palettes yet um, I'm waiting for the VIB Rude sale and then I'll pick those up but I did pick up the Marc Jacobs palette for her now this one is for her so I can't swatch it but I can definitely share it with you guys so with this particular uh, palette you have a really really nice size mirror it's very substantial and then you get this little kind of insert over the eyeshadows that say Marc Jacobs and then I'm gonna hold the palette upside down so here are the eyeshadows when I saw these eyeshadows I thought oh my gosh my mom will absolutely adore these beautiful eyeshadows Marc Jacobs is definitely a splurge but it's always nice to splurge on others and my mom works so hard gives so much of herself to others and so I always like to make sure that the gifts that I give my mom really have some meaning I just don't like to haphazardly buy her things I have some other great things that I picked up for her and I like for my gifts to have meaning and use and I feel like with this particular palette she's going to have that so yeah I picked this palette up for my mom so the next two eyeshadow palettes, I actually picked them up from Ulta. Now the story behind this is I am a platinum member with Ulta and they sent me an email saying, hey, you can go on and the Lorac Mega Pro palette is, you, you can purchase it early. You know, they were letting us know if you were a platinum member, you could go ahead and go online and purchase the product early. And I was like, okay, great. It was like the day after I saw the email, I went online, I hit... I went to purchase it I put it into my cart I waited to the end of the day I went back and it was like sold out sold out and I said like, is this right so I hit I went to refresh it and it was like sold out I was so pissed off so I had to wait until October the 2nd to pick up my mega pro palette and then it just goes to show you if you do not check your emails you miss new releases Lorac has also come out with a Lorac 3 Pro palette so it's not the mega but it's the three so I'll start with the rock three uh, pro palette and let's see what these bad boys look like now I have to tell you I am not really feeling these light color palettes because I actually use my Lorac Pro palettes year round. I use those palettes. They are like workhorse palettes for me. So this beautiful, clean, pristine beige color packaging is going to be beat up in a week. But this is what the eyeshadows look like. Mm, I don't know. We'll play around with it. I haven't even swatched it. A little beigey. 
a little a little bland in my opinion but uh, nevertheless Lorac Pro eyeshadows the way they are formulated they're beautiful so we'll see oh well maybe like this terracotta color is really pretty this color right there that terracotta color very very pretty but when I look at this palette no lie I just see a lot of transition blending uh, type of eyeshadow so I don't know exactly how I feel about the uh, Lorac Pro 3 palette but I adore the first and the second I have both of those and I use the heck out of both of those and so does my mother um, so yeah let me see what else we've got here so same deal with this one pristine white packaging and the signage is rose gold it's going to be totally jacked up in a week but that's okay that just means I adore the okay okay this is a little better in my opinion um, you get a really nice size mirror as you do with the Mega Pros and then let me just fold this back here are the eyeshadows so at the top you have two rows of all matte eyeshadows and then down here you have some satins and shimmers so yeah this this is kind of you know a little better I think than the mega the the three palette so I'm gonna swatch some of these okay I've already jacked up the palette but oh my gosh very beautiful really really nice colors let's see how they swatch on the oh yeah I always like um, Lorac Pro these are a few of the satin shimmers the formulation of her eyeshadows are just absolutely beautiful absolutely gorgeous I'm never disappointed whenever I pick up a Lorac palette um, this one initially my first thoughts just looking at it it's a little bland for my flavor but sometimes you need a good neutral type of palette well I don't know that's just my first initial like the view or thought of the palette I have to play around with it I'll do a show and tell and let you guys know exactly what my thoughts on this palette are um, but it's a pretty pretty palette but I've already dipped my finger into the licorice and messed it up it's already jacked up y'all but <laughs> nevertheless it's a really really pretty palette so the next item I picked up is Sephora. I always like to pick up a couple of Sephora favorites. This one here is the Give Me Some Bold Lip. It's a cute little mini deluxe size sample um, lipstick set. And you get six lipsticks in here. I'm just going to open it up. And here are the lipsticks inside. And they're really pretty. So you get a Tarte, really gorgeous color. You get a Kat Von D very vampy nice a really nice a vibrant fuchsia pink type from Ciate Ciate I don't know how to pronounce that you get a bite beauty let's see what color the bite beauty is oh look it's a nice vampy purple very nice and then you get a what is this one oh, okay oh and then you get a Laura Mercier let's see what this color is it's a burgundy nice not my you know and then you get a little Sephora let's see what color they've given us oh a nice brick red nice Sephora lipstick so really really cute so this is a really cute little gift set very affordable $28 you get six lippies in here this is a really nice gift to give someone who wants to try a bunch of high-end lippies and I think this also comes in like a nude or just a lipstick collection but I got the one that says bold and that's more of my cup of tea I like bold bright lips so yeah I picked this up for myself because I wanted to see what it looks like but most likely what I'm going to do is take the two or three lippies in here that I liked for myself and then I'll use the other three as little giveaway items or um, stocking stuffers for the holiday so really really nice like that so this next item was an item that was like on the Sephora website boom and then gone like in the same day um, this is the Sephora glow for it kit this is a beautiful 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 highlighter set that they have put together I'm so glad they did so this is what the actual products look like 
In here you get a Benefits What's Up, a Lancome highlighter, a Cover Effects Custom Fusion Drops, you get the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder, then over here on the side you get a Milk Makeup Sunshine Oil, that's what that is, and then a Becca Skin Perfector in um, liquid form, really, really nice. This is an amazing set, honey. $30, you cannot beat this. I actually did go back online the same day that I picked up mine. I went back online to purchase another one for my mother. And the puppy was gone. And then I went into Sephora. I was like, well, I'll just pick it up from Sephora the next day. I went into Sephora. And the people were like, what are you talking about? Like the salespeople didn't have no idea about this little Sephora's Go For It kit, Glow For It kit. And I was like, it, there is a kit that's called Glow For It. And so um, both associates went online and they looked it up and they're like, ma'am, we don't have anything like that. I was like, oh, yes, you do. So then I went on to my, I logged on to my account with Sephora and then I went to my purchase history and I was like, this is the kit. See this kit right here? That's the one I'm looking for. And the sales associate was like, oh my gosh, I've got to get one of those. And I was so tickled pink because she had no idea. That's how quick this particular little set came and went. But you never know. Maybe they are going to put this back up but oh my gosh this kit for $30 is amazing absolutely gorgeous and I don't own or have tried any milk products so I'm really excited about the milk product that is in here this little one right there I'm excited to try that oil out and see how that works so yeah I did pick up a few point items, not a lot, just a few. I wanted to try the Amore Pacific 500 Points Reward Age Defying Skin Care Collection. I picked this up. And then I also picked up a little brush cleanser. This one is the Mini Solid Blush Brush Cleanser. This stuff is so amazing. So I did pick that up. And then I also picked up a Miss Dior. This is a great little smelling perfume. And I always like to pick up the little minis, especially when I know that the bottles are so dainty and so absolutely cute because they just make decorating your little vanity so easy and look how cute that is I also picked up one from Ralph Lauren and then I also picked up this little perfume right here it's called Juliet has a gun and it says it's not a perfume it is one of the most clean classic beautiful light but definitely has staying power fresh but not flowery type of perfumes. I just absolutely adore this perfume. And this was like a deluxe size sample and I'm not sure if I use points to get this or if this was just a VIB Rouge type of situation and they offered it to you in an email. I'm not sure, I think that's what it is. But I was in the checkout line at Sephora and I saw that they had the discovery kit from this same line so I went ahead and I picked up the discovery kit because oh my gosh this one right here smells so good so I wanted to see what else they offered so this is what the little discovery kit looks like you get a large deluxe size sample of the Juliet has a gun fragrance and then you get seven little mini different fragrances that they sell so the last item I hauled is this little Tory Burch perfume set. I am a huge fan of Tori Burch. Some of my favorite perfumes are by her. I'm a girl that kind of sticks with what she knows and doesn't really stray out from that. Now I have been experimenting just a little bit just to see what's out there but I usually stick with like a Chanel number no. 5 or a Chloe and Tori Burch is coming up strong all summer long. I kind of wore Tory Burch fragrances. So being a VIB Rouge member, I think they sent this to you. You got it in like a little gift. And it's that little set. It's a little trio set. And I literally went through these little mini perfumes within like a week and a half, maybe two weeks. No time flat. And my favorite is definitely the blue, then the green, then the rose. In that order, those are my favorites. So when I was in the checkout line and I saw these, I thought they were roller balls, but they're not. They're actual perfumes. And what's really nice, if you wanted to break this set up, you could definitely do that. Now, I did purchase this for myself, so I'm not going to break it up. But it's so nice to have the little mini size that you can just throw into your makeup bag and then reapply it if you need to throughout the day. I 
really like this and then just recently um, my order from Sephora came in and I did pick up one of the little another little tiny sample to give to my mom so she could throw some of these in her purse this is the one that I use during the summer and then this is the one that I just currently picked up and I thought you know if my mom doesn't like it it doesn't matter I didn't invest a lot of money into it actually I didn't invest anything into it and she'll be able to try it if she doesn't like it she could just give it back to me or whatever but really really nice hair so yeah so that's everything that I picked up in my little haul I hope you guys enjoyed my little Sephora Ulta haul thank you guys so much for watching if you need any details or want to know any detailed information I will try to leave links to all of this stuff below in the description area and thank you so much for watching please make sure you rate comment and subscribe my husband has walked in so I'm gonna stop filming now you guys thanks so much for watching bye